After seeing some dramatic new bombing video yesterday, some survivors back at federal court in South Boston today. Now, prosecutors are focusing on the motive of Marathon bombing bomber Johar Zarnayev. News Center 5's Todd Kaskiewicz live at the federal courthouse with the latest today. Todd? Jim, good afternoon. No survivors on the witness stand today, just technical testimony from investigators. But that evidence is just as important because it establishes the motive for the actions that Jahar Zarnayev admits to taking. A day after the government released this surveillance video showing confessed bomber Jahar Zarnayev in the moments before and after dropping the second bomb, the jury is hearing about the motive. A Boston police officer who serves on the bomb squad was the first person to board the boat in Watertown after Zarnayev surrendered. That officer, Todd Brown, told the jury about the notes he saw written on the walls inside the boat before police opened fire. Jurors saw photographs of the notes and a prosecutor read the words, some of which are obscured by bullet holes. Quote, I'm jealous of my brother who has received the reward of Janatul Ferdas before me. I do not mourn because his soul is very much alive. God has a plan for each person. Mine was to hide in this boat and shed some light on our actions. Jahar Zarnayev also allegedly wrote, The U.S. government is killing our innocent civilians, but most of you already know that. As a unidentifiable, I can't stand to see such evil go unpunished. He went on to write, Now, I don't like killing innocent people. It is forbidden in Islam. But due to said unidentifiable, it is allowed. The morning began with the defense team cross-examining an FBI agent with regard to tweets that were shown to the jury yesterday. And the defense argument seems to be that they believe the prosecution is cherry-picking tweets or not giving the proper context so as to mislead the jury. Testimony continues right now. Reporting live outside federal court in South Boston, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.